Today we're going to be taking a look at the Buyers Products A-Frame Trailer Jack with Support Foot. The part number is 337-009-1265. Now this jack from Buyers has been designed to either replace an already existing 5,000 pound jack or they can also be used for an upgrade if maybe your trailer has a 2, 2,500, 3,000 pound jack on it and you just want something a little more robust, this is going to do an excellent job. It has a top wind design. You can see that here. I generally prefer that as opposed to the side wind. It's kind of easier just to do it in this fashion, I think. As you can see, it also offers nice heavy duty steel construction. Got the black powder coat finish on the outer tube portion. Down here on the inner tube, you've got a nice heavy duty yellow zinc finish. Our handle up here and the rest of our hardware, it's gonna have a clear zinc finish on it. The grip itself is going to have an ergonomic feel to it. You get a pretty good purchase on it as you're turning it left and right. Now from the center of the jack to the outermost edge of the handle, it's about six and a half inches. So we get pretty good leverage there. And as we rotate it over, we can get it more in kind of a stored position or a locked position. Although it won't prevent your jack from being raised or lowered, so keep that in mind. Another measurement you might need to check just to ensure is going to be from our bracket. That's what we basically call the top of the coupler here. And that's going to be to the top of our handle. We've got about 16 and a half inches. So if you have any kind of overhang or anything like that that might cause some interference, definitely measure it and make sure this is going to work for you. Now the foot plate you can see here is removable. I like that feature so you can take it off and really get the jack tucked up quite high. I also like instead of a round foot plate, which we see very commonly, I like that it's rectangular. That way you kind of know the direction it needs to be as you get it installed. From the left side to the right side, we're looking at about four and an eighth inch wide. From the front side to the back side, it's going to be about five and three quarters. So that should do a good job kind of spreading that energy out over a greater area so we're not just worried about that two kind of sinking down into softer ground. It's also going to offer the black powder coat finish. Now not only will this work with the foot plate like we have here, but you can also put a caster wheel or something on like that. You can see the way our pin passes through there, it'll allow you to attach just about anything. Now with our jack fully extended as we have it now, we're going to get a bracket height measurement. That's going to be again to our mounting surface here. That's about 24 and 3 quarters of an inch. Now here's our jack in the lowest position. As you can see, we've got a lot of adjustability up and down, so it should fit a wide variety. And we're now at about 10 and 3 quarters of an inch. Now we always like to compare our different products against each other to give you an idea of how they stack up. And in my experience, the coating that this jack has, the powder coat finish we have up here and this real heavy yellow zinc we have down here, seems to be a, a thicker more resilient finish than what we see out of some of the other brands outside of that it's just about exactly the same you know a top wine jacks a top wine jack in most situations the coating is really what separates it here remember you need the area on top of the jack here sometimes a side wine jack where your handles here on the side might be a better option if you run into kind of limitations on space the 5,000 pound or lift capacity jack you're probably going to have it on a bigger trailer and something I would recommend if you use it often, if it's more of a, a daily or a weekly use kind of thing, you might want to consider going with an electric jack if you have a battery on board or if you have a junction box with a 7 pole that feeds 12 volt power. That way you're just going to be hitting a button and watching it do the work rather than doing the work yourself. If you're just an occasional use kind of person, maybe you use your trailer a couple times a year, maybe once a month, maybe a jack like this is going to be the right solution for you. That way you don't have a big investment in it, you know it's going to work every time. Now to begin our installation, of course, we'll need the old jack removed. Generally the best way to do that will be with a couple of jack stands to support the tongue of the trailer. Take your old jack out of the way and we'll get our new one lowered down and into position. Now the outside tube of the jack is two and a quarter inches. You want to ensure that the hole in your trailer coupler is that size. If not, you can go with the one slightly smaller. And we're just going to feed that down and in there. We'll get our holes lined up and we can get our hardware started. Now the jack's not going to come with hardware, so you will have to, what we're just going to do is reuse our old hardware. But if you have to go out and buy new hardware, 
Make sure it's a minimum of a 3 8 diameter bolt and that it's a minimum of a grade 5. On ours, we're going to have a flat washer and lock washer on each one just to prevent accidental backing out. Now, I like to get them all started before tightening any of them down. That's going to allow us a little bit of wiggle room there to make sure they all line up appropriately. All right, all three of them are started, so let's go ahead and snug those down. And then we're going to torque them. Now we'll extend that inner tube out by turning our handle here. We can put our foot plate on. And that's going to complete our look at the Buyers Products A-Frame Trailer Jack with support foot. Part number 337-009-1265.